Okay, let's talk about bar chords and how to find any bar chord you want. Now there's many ways to do this, but we're gonna use a couple of ways right now. And uh, the first way is gonna be with the E shapes. So what does that mean? I'm taking every form of E that we know. So we have E major, E minor, E7, E minor seven, and also E major seven. And I can use that to make any chord I want, right? So uh, let's talk about making G sharp minor seven, okay? I just think of the craziest one I can, right? So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna find G sharp. So here's E, right? We know that E and F is only one fret apart. We know from F to G is two frets. And then one more makes G sharp. So there I found G sharp. And now I'm going to use the minor seven shape. So if you remember, that's only one finger. And there you go, G sharp minor seven. Let's find B flat major seven, right? So here's my E, right? Here's my F, here's my G, A, B. Now we need B flat, right? So I'm just gonna flatten this note, meaning I go back, I lower it one fret. And then if you remember our major seven shape, our E major seven shape, I use that. And there you go, there's B flat major seven. After a while, you get to remember where they all are and it becomes easier and easier. At first, when I was a kid, I had to do the same thing. I had to start, well, okay, where's, where's B flat? Okay, E, F, G, A, B, flat, major seven. But you'll get it. That's how you can make any bar chord with the E shapes.